30 seconds. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, ignition, engines full power, and lift off. Go Hera, go Falcon, go SpaceX. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. T plus 30 seconds and counting, Falcon 9 has successfully lifted off from Slick 40. After clearing the tire, we begin to tilt or gimbal the engines. That initiates a roll maneuver you might see on the Stage 1 camera view, although it's kind of cloudy. But this enables the vehicle's antennas Power to stay in the best nominal. position for communicating with the ground. We are into throttle down now in preparation for max dynamic aero. Falcon is supersonic. Faster than a speeding bullet, we're supersonic on Falcon 9. Waiting for the call out from GNC of Max Q. Max Q. Right on time, we're through the period of maximum pressure on the vehicle. The Merlin engines are back at power and we're out of the throttle bucket. Now from here on, even though the velocity is rapidly increasing, the atmospheric density is decreasing, and that's resulting on less loads on the Falcon 9. 90 seconds into flight, the rocket typically needs to go 17,500 miles per hour horizontally in order to avoid gravity MVAC pulling it back chill. down to Earth and getting into orbit. We've heard the call out for MVAC chill. That's a bleed valve on the second stage engine that's performing the final chill prior to second stage engine ignition. All's looking good with the first stage trajectory. We're coming up on T plus two minutes. Views from onboard the camera mounted on the inner stage of booster 1061. Now we've got three events that'll be coming up in just under 30 seconds. Main engine cutoff, the nine Merlin engines will be throttled down and shut down. Then we'll get stage separation and then start up of the MVAC engine on its first of two burns on the second stage. We've begun throttling down the Merlin engines. Main engine cut off. Call for Miko. Stage separation. Successful stage separation. MVAC ignition. And back ignition and we're up on power on stage two. Coming up will be fairing deployment. And for the first stage, as we saw it in the background, farewell 1061, and we thank you. As we continue climbing out of Earth's atmosphere, we're waiting for the right time when we can open up and deploy the fairing. That should be coming up in about 10 seconds. There's a camera view as we switch. You can see Hera inside the two halves of the fairing. Fairing separation. And successful payload fairing separation. As we mentioned earlier, the fairing halves have supported multiple missions. One half has flown 12, now 13 missions, and the other had previously flown 18. And those fairing halves will come back down to Earth. They're guided by cold gas thrusters and then uh, parachutes or parafoils. Falcon is on a nominal trajectory. They'll deploy and they'll be recovered by our recovery vessel, Doug. Jesse, T plus four minutes, 23 seconds. Everything continues to look good on Falcon 9 with Hera. 
Thanks, John. Yeah, everything's looking great. We got some awesome views here on your screen. What you're looking at is a view of the MVAC engine on the second stage uh, with a beautiful view of Earth in the background. FTS has saved. Now, we are currently in the first of two planned MVAC burns for this spacecraft. And we have separated for the first stage from the first stage. As we mentioned earlier, we will not be recovering the booster as we usually do. Now, typically, we would uh, land the booster either on a drone ship or back on land. But due to the performance, the additional performance required to deliver this payload to the in, to an interplanetary transfer orbit, uh, we will be um, not recovering the booster today. Now what you are seeing, again, is the MVAC engine. The MVAC engine is optimized for the vacuum of space and has about 220,000 pounds of thrust in vacuum. Again, this is the first of two burns. The two burns for the MVAC engine will take the second stage with the payload attached uh, to the targeted drop-off orbit. Falcon continues to follow a nominal trajectory. And great call out there, following a nominal trajectory. You can also follow along with the speed of the vehicle as well as the altitude um, in the bottom right hand of the bottom right hand corner of the screen. And the next event coming up in about a minute and a half from now is Seco One. Seco One is second stage engine cutoff one, which is where we will shut down that MVAC engine and allow the vehicle to coast with the payload. Uh, in an Earth orbit, and then we'll reignite that MVAC engine for a second time uh, to take the vehicle and payload to the, that interplanetary transfer orbit. Now we're just about a minute away from Seco one And you can see in the bottom right hand of your screen that the speed is continuing to pick up. The velocity is increasing uh, on the vehicle as the MVAC engine continues to burn. But again, in about 40 seconds from now. Stage two is in terminal guidance. In about uh, 35 seconds from now, we will shut down that MVAC engine and again allow the vehicle to coast in an or Earth orbit before we make its way to the interplanetary transfer orbit. Stage two, FDS has safe. Continuing to get good call outs and some great views here. Again, this is from the second stage looking at the MVAC engine. The HERA payload is still attached. And back shut down. Nominal park orbit insertion. And great news. We heard the call outs as well as saw that MVAC engine shut down, and we got a good confirmation of nominal orbital insertion.